Welcome to my quick tip, how to make a grayscale value checker. Value contrast is a key design element in a successful painting. This is a simple tool you can make and incorporate into your painting process to ensure that you're getting good value contrast as you paint. To start, I cut out a piece of watercolor paper and I tape it to a board and mask off the area that I want to have the grayscale. I don't have any black on my palette, so I mix my neutrals using complements. In this instance, I'm using a mixture of Hooker's Green and Alizarin Crimson. So I'm mixing those two colors to come up with a very dark value gray. And then I put it at the top of the page and bring it down, diluting it with water as I come down the page. And this is going to give me my grayscale. So I come down to the bottom of the page and I'm going to dry this. And it's not going to be quite as dark as I want it to be. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to repeat this, coming back in with a value to get this as dark as I want it. You can put additional layers on until you have a nice gradation from dark to light. So on the left, I have the value scale that I just painted, and on the right, I have one that I did before. And what I've done is I've cut a rectangle out of the center of this, and this is going to give me two, two value checking tools that I can use in my painting process. I'm going to take the smaller checker, and I'm going to turn it upside down and put it inside, back inside my template. And you can see the contrast from light to dark uh, going down and, and the bottom, the dark into the light. And that's the kind of contrast that you should see on your painting when you put this tool on it or when you use it to position it by the values on your painting. You want to see this type of a value contrast. That's a simple value checker that you can make yourself and use in your painting process. You can buy these at art stores or you can buy them online, but I like to make my own. And challenge yourself and see if you can mix a neutral this dark using the colors on your palette. In this example, I used Hooker's Green and Alizarin Crimson, but you could use Thalo Green and Alizarin Crimson or uh, other complements to mix this. I hope you found this tip helpful. Thanks for watching.